I did indeed. Now, one of the highlights of Hall of Fame weekend every year here in Cooperstown is the Hall of Fame parade, which is actually just concluding right now. The class of 2017 is going by us here. Bud Selig was two cars ahead of us, so our timing wasn't perfect completely. But we do get to see Tim Raines right there. He's one of the inductees going in tomorrow. Now, among the all-time greats that the fans got to see a little bit earlier included Milwaukee legends like Hank Aaron, Robin Yout, Raleigh Fingers, Don Sutton, and of course, as we mentioned, Bud Selig went through just a short time ago. Now, earlier today, Bud talked about the late George Steinbrenner, the former owner of the Yankees, whose team had a strong rivalry with Bud's Brewers in the 1970s and 80s. We had two things that we couldn't agree on. No, we had a lot of things we couldn't agree on. <laughs> but twice a year, we had friendly wagers on football games. And he always had Tampa and I had the Packers. Well, that was a joke. I mean, he... <laughs> and um, I had the Badgers, obviously, and he had Ohio State. This every year, and he took it very seriously. Oh, he was calling me the day before. And, where are you going to watch the game? I'd say to him, what the hell do you care? Well, I'm going to watch the game. I'm going to watch it. Now, Bud did say that he became a lot closer with George Steinbrenner in later years. And, of course, now it's Bud going in the Hall of Fame. George has not gotten there yet. Coming up later on in sports, what a couple of Hall of Fame pitchers had to say about Bud Selig's legacy. Live in downtown Cooperstown, New York, Dan Needles, WISN 12 Sports. And, Dan, it looks like everybody out there is having a blast out there. What's, uh, what's the crowd been like throughout this whole parade? It, uh, there are thousands and thousands of fans here in Cooperstown. We're told every year it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, Bud Selig, let's take a look at that. He just drove by a short time ago. Now, we actually did hear a couple of people booing Bud, but the majority of people were in a very good mood about this. Bud Selig, of course, oversaw baseball some, during some of its toughest times but also during some of its healthiest times. So Bud Selig fulfilling a lifelong dream. He, after this parade, he's going to be heading into the Hall of Fame, and then they have a, a private reception for all the living Hall of Famers that are here in Cooperstown. Ben? All right, Dan Needles live for us in Cooperstown, New York, and Dan's going to be 